As a parent, you do everything you can to make sure your baby is safe, comfortable, and content. This can be especially challenging when you're heading outside with your baby in a car seat. If a sudden gust of wind has left your baby startled and exposed to the elements, or you've been frustrated because the poor design reduces your grip on the handle, then you know exactly what we mean. With three children of our own, we face the very same frustrations. After unsuccessfully trying all sorts of blankets and covers, we decided to solve the problem ourselves. So, the cute cocoon was born. It's an innovative baby car seat canopy designed to give parents exactly what they need. It is completely windproof and fully adjustable, so you can fit it tightly to the car seat or let it drape freely, depending on the weather. We've included what we call the peekaboo window, so you can check in on your sleeping baby anytime while they stay fully covered. If your baby is awake, the window helps them stay content because they can see what's going on outside and interact with you. The cute cocoon is made of pre-shrunk 100% cotton and is completely reversible. You can switch up the look at a moment's notice at no extra cost. The cute cocoon is unique because it leaves the handle exposed even when the canopy is flipped up. A secure grip means your baby stays safe. The Velcro handles on either side become the perfect spot for hanging toys. This feature may be simple, but we found it missing for most other products. Just think of the options it gives you for keeping your baby and you happy for much longer. Oh, and in case you're wondering, it's designed to fit most models of infant car seats. You can easily customize the fit by tightening or loosening it from the front or back of the canopy. This is the most amazing canopy you can find. With your support, the funds from this campaign will be used to finance the initial production of the Cute Cocoon. Together, we can make the Cute Cocoon a reality. Now it's your turn. No one would think of leaving their child behind in a burning hot car or a freezing cold car, but it's a tragedy that repeats itself time and time again. My name is Michael Brownell, and I'm the CEO of Elifo. And my name is Michael J, and I'm the president of Elifo. For the past decade, we've been creating lifestyle devices, enhancing quality of life for the whole family. We decided to design a low-cost solution that could possibly prevent children from being left behind. It's called the Eclip, and it attaches to the baby's car seat, a seat belt. Just attach the E-clip and switch it on. Using safe, low energy Bluetooth communication and our Android or iOS smartphone app, E-clip sounds an alarm if you accidentally go more than 15 feet from your car without removing your child or turning off the E-clip. E-clip can also send a text message to your spouse, parents, or friend to remind them to take the baby out of the car. E-clip will also warn you if the temperature in the back seat is too high or low, ensuring it's comfortable and safe for your baby. No smartphone? E-clip comes with a Bluetooth e-fob for your keychain. It will sound an alarm if you've left a baby in the car. The E-clip is expected to have a retail cost below $80, making it not just a necessary safety tool, but an affordable one as well. The unique E-clip app will be available via the Apple or Google Store, so anyone with a smartphone will be able to use it. We have a lot of experience with wellness technology. Our products are in most US chain stores, including Walgreens, CVS, Dwayne Reed, and we're in Walmart. So why are we on Kickstarter? We are looking for your support to help cover the costs of product molds, software development, and marketing costs. We already have interest from parents associations who are keen to get access to this new and innovative product. So join us, because together, you can create a low-cost solution that could put an end to these tragedies. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Danielle, and I created the Juni, the world's first fashionable car seat cover for parents on the go. We named the product Juni after our daughter June. Living in an apartment with two busy kids can be tricky, but one thing I've learned to love about it is that it forces us outside. As a family, we love to explore the city. We were out on a walk, and the cover that we had on our car seat kept falling in his face or it was blowing in the wind. We were like, how can we change this? We just knew what we wanted. We wanted something that was tight all the way around to hold it in place. And then also something that was water resistant. I just pictured like a cool windbreaker version. Strangers love babies and they love to touch their little hands and their little cheeks. And so it kept those hands out of his face and kept him protected. What we found, we love so much. It's a soft ripstop nylon that is actually built for strength. We ended up finding these clasps that connect an elastic to each side. One feature that I love is that it can be halved into a sunshade without covering the handle so that you can still carry it easily. We added a pocket to the Juni so that parents could store any extra things they have like a pacifier or a phone. When the Juni is not in use, it folds into that pocket. We are launching our product on Kickstarter so that we can fund the materials and the manufacturing of this product. If we get funded, we'll be able to bring more designs and colors. We need your support. Please help us fund the Juni. Welcome to the Car Cap presentation a new safety system to reduce head and neck injuries in children and at the same time providing comfort and support while traveling. Thank you for taking the time to view our presentation. If you have children or grandchildren and have taken them on a trip, you've probably witnessed this. What you're looking at does not look comfortable and at the very least is causing muscle and tendon problems along with neck insult. Could you imagine what would have happened to this child if an accident would have occurred? Thousands of children each year are involved in auto accidents, many having brainstem and spinal cord injuries. 250,000 are injured and 2,000 die from their injuries. Car accidents are the leading cause of death between ages 2 and 14. This is one of the reasons for our invention. The other consideration for our discovery is the frustration parents have when looking in the back seat, observing the twisted positions of their children. This invention will give parents peace of mind. Moms no longer have to keep looking in the back seat to check on their child or children and can keep their eyes on the road. As you can see, we are on a rough road and Jackson is in his car seat. Notice the stability of his head. You will also notice, without car cap on his head, his head jolts and he is no longer sleeping soundly. You'll notice Jackson is starting to wake up, looks around and goes back to sleep. Here we see the comfort and support of our product. If a crash were to occur, car cap may reduce head and neck injury in a collision. Once a child gets used to the car cap, they can put it on themselves. Jackson calls it his sleep hat. Here is an example of how the attachment straps can go out the back side of the car seat instead of around the headpiece. Therefore, the straps do not need to go around the headrest. There are 4 million children born annually. The age to which car cap would be utilized is 18 months to 8 years or older. This would equal 26 million children. The remainder of the video will explain how children can sustain a traumatic brain injury in a motor vehicle accident. This will help you visualize the need for car cap. Using a general explanation of Newton's law of physics, let us show you what happens in a simple rear-end car crash. Before the moment of impact, the person inside the car and the car itself are at rest. As soon as the car is hit from behind, the mass and energy from the moving car begins to transfer energy into the stop car. What most people don't understand is that the body of the child sitting in the stop car will not move immediately with or as quickly as the car, but instead there is a lag in time before the body starts to move. In this graph, we have time going along the bottom and g-forces are on the left. The steel frame of the car being hit will begin to accelerate forward from the impact. However, 
the person in the car will resist moving due to Newton's law of inertia. What will happen is the vehicle would begin to move before the occupant. The vehicle may actually move several inches forward before the child's torso begins to move. This will then cause the built-up pressure from the vehicle seat to further accelerate the torso of the child's body forward like a diving board propels a diver. And because a head is somewhat like a bowling ball, supported only by the neck, the head will remain motionless for a few more milliseconds. So the car moves first, then the torso moves out from underneath the child's head. The child's head has suddenly accelerated to catch up with the car and the torso. This very sudden acceleration of the head causes two points of stress in the neck. The first stress point is at cervical vertebrae C5 and C6, and the other stress point is in between cervical vertebrae C1 and C2. These two areas of the neck usually get the most damaging forces, which oftentimes tears or permanently stretches the ligaments that hold our vertebrae in their proper place. It is these exact same laws of physics that cause mild traumatic brain injuries. Our brain is very complex and is made up of two different types of brain cells. The center of our brain is called white brain matter. And then there is the gray brain matter, which surrounds the white matter. Our brains are floating in a liquid, which is a cerebral spinal fluid, all housed inside our very hard skull. It is important to know that the white brain matter is much more dense and heavier than the gray brain matter. And there are billions of cells in our brains. And there are axons that connect the white and gray matter. These axons transmit information from one part of the brain to another. When a car is suddenly hit from behind, like in our example, the child's head is the last part of the body to move in a crash. It has to accelerate forward quickly to catch up to the car and the torso. The child's head may even be hit on the back of the car seat, further increasing the acceleration of the child's head. Since the brain is floating in liquid and consists of two different types of brain cells, one heavier than the other, each part of the brain accelerates at a slightly different time and rate. The difference in the movement between the white and gray matter causes diffuse axonal shearing. This is a medical term that explains how connecting axons are damaged from the shearing between the gray and white brain cells. The brain cells follow Newton's first law of physics, and our brain remains still while the skull is being accelerated forward by the back of the car seat. The brain's gray matter is accelerated first because it is closest to the back of our skull, and it is softer and has less density than the white brain matter. The pressure from the gray brain matter begins to apply force to the white brain matter, and then the white brain matter begins to move to catch up with the gray matter. Now as the child's head is traveling forward, it will suddenly stop when the seat belt which holds the torso in the car seat causes the head to jerk forwards. Meanwhile, the brain is still moving forward in the skull and goes through the same traumatic forces the second time. Again, this causes shearing of the axons as the gray and white matter move at different times and speeds. If the child's head is slightly turned before or during the crash, then the shearing to brain cells can be even worse. This type of injury can happen in less than a quarter of a second. Most times, children don't even lose consciousness. They may not even have a bump on the back of their head. But they may feel dazed, groggy, confused, agitated, or experience many other feelings from this traumatic brain injury. Unfortunately, many mild traumatic brain injuries go undiagnosed. It is not uncommon to feel an adrenaline rush into the bloodstream. Due to the chaos associated with a crash, parents and children may think they are okay and not seek immediate medical care, even though they have just experienced a very life-changing injury. The injured child is usually the last one to realize or know that they have suffered a mild traumatic brain injury. It is usually their family or friends who notice that the child is having a difficult time selecting words in a conversation or being able to concentrate or remember things. With CarCap, every drive is more pleasant for child and parent. And should a crash occur, car cap may greatly reduce the chances of head and neck injuries. Car cap is an easily affordable, extra layer of safety and comfort that every chauffeur of children will want attached to their car seats. Hi, my name is Dee Dee Friedman, and I invented the NoBob out of love and concern for my kids. To give you some background, my NoBob journey started with my daughter, Matea. When she was a little girl, she always fell asleep in the car. As Soon as she started dozing off, her head would start bobbing. It would bob up and down again and again, and eventually come to rest hanging forward over her chest. When I would look back at her, I knew she was so uncomfortable. It pained me to see her slumped forward that way. 
it suddenly dawned on me that this was a major distraction while driving. And that made it dangerous for both of us. I knew I needed to create something as soon as possible so my kids could sleep comfortably in the car, I could stop worrying, focus on driving, and make it safer for all of us. For kids, the no bob had to be irresistible. They had to love it as much as they do their favorite stuffed animal. It had to be so cuddly, soft, and adorable that they looked forward to getting in the car and wearing it on their heads. For my peace of mind as a parent, I made sure the no bob is designed to stay on a child's forehead while sleeping, and it prevents a child from pulling it over their neck when they're awake. I also needed to know that the no bob was safe to use in the car. So as soon as I had my final prototypes, I had them tested for safety at a government certified crash test facility. I'm so happy to say that they passed the test with flying colors. I know all parents are busy, so I made sure the no bob is easy to install, easy to adjust, and easy to use. I am so excited to share with fellow parents, grandparents, and friends the no bob.